Corby Stowe with Oil Solutions Group. I want to show you how to filter a fryer with our armadillo filter machine. Now in a restaurant, you want to wear personal protection equipment, PPE. Right? Typically, that consists of uh, gloves, apron, and a face shield. In order, since we're doing a training video, and so that you can hear me better, I'm going to actually remove the shield while I filter. Okay. So before we filter. I want to show you how to do a, something you should be doing all day. All throughout the day, you want to take a skimmer and skim all the particles and sediment out of the fryer, out of the oil. Okay? Just put all this sediment and stuff floating on the oil, throw that away and put it in the trash. What happens is if you don't remove all that, the crumbs continue to cook and they produce carbon on the sides of the fry by the sides of the fryer. So you want to make sure that you're dumping all the crumbs out of here throughout the day. Anytime you walk past a fryer, just constantly skim all that stuff out. All the stuff on the surface, skim it out. And also when you get ready to filter, you know, that's less crumbs and sediment you're going to have in there that you're going to have to continue with from draining the fryer. Just get everything out before you filter and you'll be good to go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll the filter machine up. So you open the door to the fryer. There is a uh, pipe here for draining. Just connect that in here. going to roll the filter machine up. You want to angle it. You angle the filter machine so that it uh, aligns up with the drain to avoid splashing on the floor. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. So I'm going to line it just straight on here. Okay, once everything's lined up, turn your fryer off. Okay, ensure fryer's off. Ensure fryer's off. And drain the oil. You want to drain, open the, the drain slowly. It may be necessary to take a poker to unclog the drain. We'll see. We'll take that as a as we get there. I'm going to go ahead and open the drain further. Okay. Now we can start the filtering process. Now what we do is call this a generic term when the drain's open and the oil's recirculating through the filter. We call that polishing. And during that process, the oil, this is maybe a 50, 45, 50 pound fryer, that oil is going to make several cycles to the half micron filter. Okay, so that's going to be polishing the oil. We're just going to leave the drain open, start the pump. We're going to start washing all the sediment down the side walls of the fryer. Okay, so we're going to time ourselves for about, you know, you want to polish for about 8 to 10 minutes. During that process, you can just wash the fryer out with the hose and wand. Okay, everything's flowing smoothly. And that oil is now going to that half micron filter. Well, it's a good idea to wear your gloves and your PPE at this point. Just want to be real careful. The main thing is safety first while you're cleaning. Okay. So we've got the fryer rinsed out. What I'm going to do is turn this pump off. 
And I'm going to reposition the hose so we can do the polishing and you can go ahead and do other things while we're we can wipe down the fryer while this is polishing. So I'm going to put the hose inside the holder and uh, you know we can do we can close the lid if you want to or leave it open. You can see the uh, filtration in progress and see how clear the oil's getting. Okay, so our uh, eight to ten minutes have elapsed. Oil's clear. And we can see all the way down the bottom there. Now it's time to return the oil back to the fryer. So we want to go ahead and take this off. It's going to be hot, so you have to be careful with it. Okay, drains close, obviously. And we'll go ahead and go ahead and return the oil back to the fryer now. It should, should flow pretty quick. <clears throat> that 8 gallon per minute pump is really advantageous. We'll return that oil back into the fryer and put your fryer back in service a little bit quicker. <clears throat> what we're going to do is just, as we're filling the pot up, we want to make sure we're getting that oil all out of that filter in the filter pan and make sure we don't leave any residual oil left in the pan. Start looking down there to see all the, the sediment and stuff we've collected. All right, very good, very nice. Good, clean looking oil. Half micron filter. We've removed everything out of that oil down the size of a grain of graphite. So we'll just uh, pump the oil back to the, suck all that oil out of there and. Make sure everything's all uh, up to level here in the fryer.